times there might be equations that aren't quadratic equations specifically, but can be written in a quadratic form for us to be able to solve the inner part of the process and then finish up with the actual solutions to the original question. The way that we can identify whether we have something that can be written in quadratic form is if in the terms the exponent in one of the terms is exactly double the exponent in the other term and then possibly I just have a constant term that goes along with it. Notice in this example I have x to the two-thirds minus 7x to the one-third is equal to 8. The only two terms that have the variable expressions are the x to the two-thirds and the minus 7x to the one-third and two-thirds is exactly double the value of one-third. So this is a problem where that occurs. Now if I think about how I could rewrite this first term as an expression that is a quantity squared, if I had x to the one-third quantity squared, remember when you take an exponential expression to yet another power, we keep the base and multiply the exponents, and one-third times two over one would be two-thirds. So this expression x to the two-thirds and this expression, the quantity x to the one-third squared, really are exactly the same thing, just written in a different way. And then I have minus a seven x to the one-third and that's equal to eight. So here I have in my negative seven x to the one-third an x to the one-third factor and in the first term I have that x to the one-third only quantity squared. So if I did a substitution, let's say we let a be that x to the one-third expression that's showing up in both places, then my equation would be a squared minus seven times a is equal to eight. So I was able to take it and write it in quadratic form. Well, to solve this quadratic um, equation that we have, we'll want to subtract the 8 over a squared minus 7a minus 8 is equal to 0 and see if we can solve that by factoring, which we can. That factors as a minus 8, a plus 1, set each factor equal to 0, a minus 8 equals 0 or a plus 1 equals 0, and then solve a is equal to 8 or a is equal to negative 1. Now remember, a is x to the 1 third. So I have really that x to the 1 third is equal to 8 or x to the 1 third is equal to negative 1. We really want to go all the way and find out what our x value is. And so remembering that x to the 1 third is the same as the cubed root of x, I have taking both sides to the third power to undo that cubed root. We get x is equal to, well, 8 to the third power is 512. Or on this other solution, we get x is equal to, well, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So our solutions to the original problem is x is equal to 512 or x is equal to negative 1.